we are very happy to show you our latest doser, doser generation, generation 6, here. We have three machines here. Over there on the edge you can see the PR736, which is a, um, a doser in the 25 ton range. This has been on the market since April this year. But today we will focus on two other machines, the PR746 that you see here and the PR756 over there. Let's talk about the basic uh, features of these two new machines that we have here. Let's start with the PR746. As I already told you, it's a machine in the 30 ton class. Uh, especially equipped here in this case with a semi-U blade and a free shank ripper. Um, the horsepower of this machine is 250. And like all doses that we show here, so all these three, this machine has a um, diesel engine which complies with the newest emission regulation, tier 4 final or stage 4. So like in USA and Europe, we have this emission regulation right now. Um, the dropper bull, for those who are interested in, is 385 kN. Some basic figures of the machine over there, this is a PR756, so one size bigger, a 40 ton class. This machine also has a semi-U blade, but a single shank ripper, so only one shank at the rear. Uh, this machine has a horsepower of 340, and that rubber pull is 500, 510 kN. First thing that catches into the eye, of course, is the new design. So if you have the design in mind of Generation 4, we really changed dramatically in design, especially the new cap with the unrivaled visibility and um, higher operator comfort, especially with new design joysticks and a touch control display. We also did some important changes to the undercarriage. What we also further improved uh, was the accessibility to the service points, especially the engine compartment. Diesel engines of all these machines here comply with, with uh, exhaust emission stage 4, tier 4 final. And the uh, source treatment is done with uh, Liebherr SCR. Uh, a special feature in this context is the power boost function. When the machine encounters some extra heavy workload, the engine sends more horsepower to the tracks for a short period of time. And for the operator, that means the machine feels a lot more responsive and more dynamic than the predecessor models. We have managed to improve fuel efficiency of the engines even more. Right? How do we do that? First of all, the engines run at constant RPMs and low RPMs. Constant RPMs allows us to develop the engine, especially to this engine speed, already in the, in the design process. And low RPMs means cylinder filling is better and combustion is more efficient. So we have engines that are clean, very powerful and more efficient even than the predecessor models. With this drive line, the dropper pull is automatically adjusted to the workload. So you always have the perfect dropper pull for each working situation. One other feature about this drive is that the drive powers the tracks equally. Meaning you have independently tracks making the machine very agile and maneuverable. Another feature that we've introduced to save fuel cost is the so-called eco mode. Eco mode can be activated at the touch of the button and the operator can choose whether he sets priority to high pushing power in very demanding situations like over there for example or to especially low fuel consumptions for light and medium duty work. And an additional feature that we've implemented in generation 6 is the uh, automatic engine shutdown. When the machine waits somewhere and is idling for a longer period of time, the engine stops automatically and helps save fuel again. The front side of the plate is made of a very hard wearing steel, giving a long life to the, to the plate. On both these machines, we offer standard undercarriages for normal applications, as well as LGP undercarriages as an option. LGP stands for low ground pressure and uh, is a wider and sometimes even longer undercarriage for very soft ground conditions. And if you look at the track frame, it's shaped like a roof, so dirt can fall off and does not uh, pile up or build up on the track frame.